are on that list of ones who have hands free laws, but not in Massachusetts, and that may not change anytime soon. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald is live in Seekonk with our in depth coverage. Kate, as you can see in this sign here, Massachusetts already has a ban on texting while driving, but they do not have a ban on handheld devices like we do in Rhode Island. Now, as Massachusetts state lawmakers near the end of the July deadline, it appears a hands-free law will not happen this year. Something frustrating to Emily Stein, whose father was killed on the side of Route 2 by a driver using a device. According to our Boston affiliate, over the last few years, different versions of the hands-free law have passed the Senate, but they've stalled in the House, partially over concerns that people of color might be pulled over at disproportionate rates. And there's also been some pushback from law enforcement over new versions requiring police to keep detailed records each time they pull over a driver for phone use. Stein is still working to change state law in memory of her father. It's been seven and a half years. My dad was killed by a driver who was programming her GPS. That's something that is still legal in this state. We're going to look back and say, wow, that was ridiculous that we were allowed to use a small computer right in front of our face while driving, you know, a thousand to two thousand pound vehicle. And Stein says that she will continue pushing for a change to Massachusetts state law to make handheld distractions illegal. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.